And now 15 day government shutdown. The risk of default is all for what exactly? The Republican ransom note went from defunding Obamacare to we're thinking about it to a trifecta of ugly, sometimes counterintuitive and obscure demands. Today, briefly, the House Republican leadership showed their hand. They floated the idea of a new ransom. It had three components. Number one, a pay cut for congressional staffs. We mentioned this at the top. This has been an ongoing obsession of the GOP since the shutdown of the government. This is the so-called Vitter Amendment, which would disallow the federal which employs congressional staff, to contribute anything to their health care. For staffers, this would essentially be a pay cut. They would now have to pay out of pocket for the insurance their employer, a.k.a. the government, had previously been providing. The same way that millions of Americans are receiving employer-provided health care, and it is not, in any large way, affected by Obamacare. Number two, a giveaway to the medical device industry. Part of the Affordable Care Act was to raise revenue for the bill from a variety of sectors of the healthcare market who are going to benefit from 30 million new people joining the insurance pool. And one of them was the medical device industry, which is now going to have a lot more customers. In exchange for these new customers, the law imposes a 2.3% tax on the medical devices they sell, it raises at least $30 billion over 10 years. You will not be surprised to learn the medical device industry, oh my God, do they hate this. Lobbying by the medical supplies, manufacturing, and sales industry was $55 million from just September 2011 to 2012, according to the Sunlight Foundation. Industry has been speaking out of both sides of its mouth, however, telling Washington the tax is going to kill us, while telling Wall Street investors the Affordable Care Act is great for us because of all the new business it brings in. An honest industry insider told the New Republic, you bring in millions more people into the healthcare market, these people are going to use goods and services. We're going to give you 10 more dollars in business and take a dollar in taxes. And you mean you won't hire more people because we're going to take that one dollar? It makes no sense. It's nothing but political pandering. All right, number three, and this might be my favorite, income verification by the IRS. This was one of the Republican proposals floated this morning. And it would mean anyone who wants to purchase health insurance on the exchanges and apply for a subsidy they're qualified for from the government would first, before they can get the subsidy, have to go through a verification process by the IRS. Right now, the way income is verified is through spot checking, in much the same way that IRS audits. Some people get audited, some people don't, but the threat of an audit hopefully keeps people honest. Instead of that, every single person to go through this onerous process of income verification through the IRS, empowering an entity that conservatives have just spent the last nine months basically calling an arm of tyranny. The Constitution is designed to constrain the government. The Tea Party is alive and well, and we are going to write the obituary for big government. And now, with the implementation of Obamacare at hand, and knowing that it is the IRS, the Internal Revenue Service, that will be the enforcing mechanism for this new entitlement program of Obamacare. First of all, the best thing to do with the IRS is to abolish it and to send all of our IRS agents to the border. It is a manifestation of too much power in the federal government. When the federal government has that much power in our individual lives, it's an invitation to being abused. They have to enforce Obamacare for all Americans. No one will escape this bony, death-like grip of the IRS. Anybody want to fire some IRS agents? Why don't we start with the 16,000 IRS agents that are going to implement Obamacare? And, and I think we ought to abolish the IRS and instead move to a simple flat tax. That same political party this morning was floating the idea of increasing the reach and intrusiveness in the IRS into people's income. Now, though, we've learned the ransom note was pared back even further. We'll move forward. Republicans were telling us as late as a few hours ago, all of this pain and misery and cost and drama, the whole thing, just so we can get a health pay cut for our staffs.